Hello, my friends. Good evening. I hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome to the Killer Frequency. A spooky game. It was on sale, so I decided, hey, let's jump in, shall we? I like spooky games. They're fun and interesting. So let's begin, shall we? How you doing, Fawn? How you doing, Lurkers? Ah, yes. Your bum. Hmm. Pick up the object. Delicious swill. Uh, hold two objects open. No, I needed that. Give me that. Yeah, there we go. It's a strong bottle. Oh, I can help. I can do it too. Press B to begin inspecting. It's a cop. Crouch to toggle. Okay. Fantastic. Let's see here. Uh huh. Yep, I can read that. Taking this pen with me. You never know. Good thing I brought the pen with me. Back up! I got a pen! Ah, go ahead, just kill me. Let me, let me get a sip first, though. Well, at least he waited for me to sip. Ah! You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know... How? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... Don't oh, look at him go! Something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean... Today's the day. Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. Hmm. But if you're sure you don't want to, hang on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check out the. Uh, let's see here, McCready Street will be closed. Of course it will be. Okay, all right. there you go. Put that right there. All right, I'm here. Yes, um, let's do the checks. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. Woo, got it! <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. See Easy. that ricochet shot? Forest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Shut up. Hang on, I gotta get the shot. Oh, damn it, this is close. The 
record box is on the left and the record player is on the right. Peggy, Pick Peggy, stick it on the turntable. Peggy, then hit play. I am, I am invested right now. You give me one second, and I'll give you the world. Shit. Go, oh, come on, that was in. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a <laughs> Woo, got it. Turntable. Woo! All right, let's see what kind of records we got here. Um, Blast Frost, the Flow, Storm Riders, the Hang Ups. Uh, how about. The box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. The Storm Riders. Stick it on the turntable. That's on. Play. Got it. Now turn it off. All right. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Hey, Don, yeah. what's going on? Hang up. Great. And button two works just the same. So... Let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. I pressed the Peggy. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. All right, Peggy button. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Welcome to... Um... There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, Shit, what's it called? Done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the Welcome to KWAF. Damn it. KFAM. <laughs> what am I doing? Sound. Play a song, grab the sliders, and move them up and down. Go nuts. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Let's see here. How about... How about a little louder? Yeah, much better. Let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment... Is guess that scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Music's off. Okay, you're live in three, two, one eighty nine point sixteen. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone-in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and... Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. 
Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, yes. but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic. Uh! So... Are you serious? Really, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh God. Uh. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. The perturbed yeti scream, the falling from the cliff, the drowning. The perturbed yeti. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. I don't. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. That was my favorite. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. There's a call coming in. A call, you say? Turn the music off. Hello. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Are you calling to guess that scream? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, God. Poor <laughs> Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other hey, what's officers? Up, Catherine? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Canada. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let Something's them know wrong, what's huh? going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave, 
while there's a murder on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Um, hmm. Why me? I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard, but that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Mm, a mystery. Another way in. Oh, uh, let's see here. Find another set of keys, probably? There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. <laughs> I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I'm feeling great. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. I can make my own sound bites. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on oh, fire? Oh no. How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No. No way. This can't... Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. The terrible whistler of 82. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Lock the doors. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Um, take a police cruiser. There should be 
police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I, yeah, yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any, uh, just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest, good thinking. Yeah, I did it. Wait, how am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Take Sheriff Matthews' gun. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying oh, to yeah. defend himself. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Like the whistling man left. Yo, what's up, Hugo? Pepper spray and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Oh, the pepper spray. The pepper spray should be easy to use and carry. Take that. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. Hmm. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep, there you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Damn, I'm so good yeah, at this. <sighs> so good at this. Damn, I'm so good. Three in a row. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Um, good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes you it through You go, this. girl. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Trying to get stuff into that, that crack. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Okay. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Hello? We're here. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez and the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son! What are these? Forrest, the pepper spray is not working. It's not getting through the mask. No. Please stop getting through the mask. I saw it. Get out of there! Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there! Martinez! God damn it! Hold it together! Leslie, you need to hold it together right now. You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. We can't let this happen again. Peggy's right. We've all got our part to play now. This is a multi-ending game, isn't it? To get help. Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe Middle of nowhere. Two, hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Oh, we'll do our best. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just try to work together. Do what you can. All right, both. I. God damn it! I need a minute. I'll be out of range 
launch soon. I'll radio back as soon as I can, once I got the cavalry. Try not to crash. Try not to crash. <laughs> we, uh, we need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. <sighs> Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on you heard it here. Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now... Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. How come I don't have a chair? It's gonna take her four hours. This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Moody. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Yeah, that's usually what killers do. They just kill. Yeah. Gallows Creek Road. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. Revenge on the town for catching him from killing people? We have a whistling killer on our hands tonight. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll do our best. All right, copycat or ghost killer, I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Teddy could Gallows be around Jr. is a 35? family man. 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. 35 at best. Woo! Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You'll seek you know. Wisdom. Before my career exploded and so I these are advertisements. a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. Five thousand on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Yes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yes. I guess we're gonna. Hey, what's up, retro? Perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. I'm ready. Let's do it, baby. Shut the music off. Don't tell me what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? You know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. You are safe. Uh, hmm. Do you accept requests? 
accept requests. I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice Whoa. to us. A sacrifice to us? Hey, can you turn your radio down? I can hear it. Ooh. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Go to the store. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. Not yet. I want to deal with them. All right. Okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Uh, a wise choice. See you soon, Morris Nash. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. The hangups. Let's go. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy. The hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right What's now. What's up, Gwars? How you doing? The town. It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending. This to one's for you, Gwars. By pretending to be this whistling Damn character. Hang on. It this one's for you, Gwars. But it's not. It's yes. Not at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that. That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Oh my god! Oh god! Yo! Hello, caller. You're live Hello. on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Um, uh, a jazz run? You went out for a jazz run? What, what is that? What is it? It's jazz running, baby. And it got my butt all the way back to my car before I got slashed. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least, so I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Hmm, can you find your key? Sounds like you lost them. I think it'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know a thing about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys, and you're gonna have to help me. Uh oh. Wait, wait, I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare swift bands. I'll call you back when I find it. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio. I wish my mic stand was able to got this bounce back like this one. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Let's see. Um, uh, late night lurkers. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Just for you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? 
They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. They're sweaty, huh? Hello! Let's see. Nice. This really opened up, didn't it? All right. Yo, I'm liking this, uh... Come on, Peggy, let me in! I'm scared! I'm not getting in there tonight. Peggy, come on, man! This looks useful. Oh, how to fix cars! Alright, well this is useful, let's take this with me. Aha! Well, well, well! What the fuck? Step one, use screwdriver as key. Okay. Nice. Scream! Why is the why are the bathrooms so spooky? So few keys. Hmm. Okay. Think why the office is so spooky. Gallows Creek Chili Cook-Off Champion. Nice. Uh huh. Yes. Grilling spree. Nice. Good god damn, I just want to grill. Truck! Full color nuts and bolts action, baby! Toyota's 4x4 un American. Megalot truck, real or myth? Truck, boat, truck, the ultimate in off road, offshore transportation. Woo! Ammo and whiskey, free coupon. Nice. Mudden. It's time for mudden. Uh, what, what mudden? We have to Google mudden and what for there it is. Alright. Grilling spree. What's it called? Grilling spree ad. Gotcha. Hey Peggy, I got a, I got another advertisement I can play. Do we get money for this? On air. There we go. Let's see here. So step one, use screwdriver as a key if that fails. Um, if that fails, step two, remove the steering column cover, check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. This is like defuse the bomb. If there's a four before three and no seven in the number, red and blue. If there's a six anywhere, green and brown. If there's a zero, step four, now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wire from step three. The radio turns on and won't turn green. Cut the left pink wire. Oh my god, this is all just... anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. If the alarm is sounding, cut the triple braided green wire, not the double braided green wire or the quadruple braided green water wire. Doing so will mess with the electronics. Oh my god. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Oh, here we go. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. Uh, How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Put the screwdriver. Use a screwdriver. Hey, what's up, Mio? 
Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I, I, oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. It's too fat. What next? Remove the steering column. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up. And, oh, God, my heart is pumping. We got to get that serial number. What's the serial number? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. If there's a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five, green and brown. If there's a four before, oh, you gotta, oh wait, wait, here it is. Five, seven, six. If there's a four before a three and a number seven, it's red and blue. If there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. Okay, so it's red and blue. Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Okay, here we go. Blue and red and twist and turn and... Oh, oh, oh it won't turn off. Oh, me, yes, radio. Cut the left pink wire. Cut the left. Cut the left wire. Oh. Oh. That was high intensity. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. He's walking toward the car. Oh, what do I do? Strip the purple. Strip the brown and green wires and twist them together? No. Sandra says the serial number. Oh shit, so it was wrong. So it's either brown and green or red and yellow. Uh, brown and green is six. There's a six anywhere. And doesn't start with a five. So it does start with a five. There's a zero at the end. And three doesn't come before six. Red and yellow? Then? Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow, then we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I okay. also see pink and purple. Wire. Okay. What next? Strip the purple. Strip the purple and brush against the twisted wires. Yes. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. Yes. Twist onto the no, yeah, no, no, don't touch it. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. Strip and we brush and. <gasps> yeah, we did it! Yeah! Fantastic work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Just keep driving. Just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Woo! We did it, Forrest! We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. I still can't believe this is happening. Right? That Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. Yeah. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Yeah. 
nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. We do got some bops. We got some bops. We don't have that many bops, but we got some bops. Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? My brain is coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. And we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. But I want to hear about the grill. Hang on. I'm playing the grill commercial. Caller on line one. Hey, great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab it the beer? Hey, sure. have a call waiting. grab you out of the fridge. Oh, no. We're out of beer. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. No! The Grill Reaper! Grilling Spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Hang on, I got. Wait. Alright, fine, fuck. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. <gasps> Brian. Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty. Pizza. Yo, I love fucking pizza, dude. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. It's just terrible. Anyway, so uh, Crasco? I just wanted to thank you for doing your For free pizza Yo, dude. here at Ponty's Pizza. Fuck yeah. Just a little something to look forward to when all this blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, no, 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 no. Poor choice it was. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on I'm trying to hang to up, I swear. This weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it, you're just calling in to advertise your shop. Well, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Six beers. Great. <laughs> hey, Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Spare ribs. Uh, just get me back on the air. And we're back. We got a caller. You know what to do. I do. Ignore it. All right, fine. Time to turn the music off. No, I need background noise. 
Welcome to the screen. Do you not understand what dead air is? Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie left me in charge. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. <laughs> People break in all the time. Just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. I don't think it's a teen. I don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years yeah. ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. No. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Yes. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews. Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Hmm. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. Oh, he's a menace. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Hmm. In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Uh, and get an exclusive interview, hey. By Maurice Time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. Well, this guy's a stabby, stabby killer. The son of a bitch has Not a shooty pooty. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were Possibly a ghost. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? You're but stupid. Help yourself. Every phone extension. Help yourself. I'm listening to music now. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Mr. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your facts. Don't let me down. How do you know the fax machine? Where's the fax machine? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Okay. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Other side of the hall. Okay, go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the facts from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Looks great. Kitchen, office space, boardroom. Okay. 
So he's going to the board, or he's trying to get to the boardroom, right? I guess we'll find out. All right, let's close this up. I don't want it, don't want any uh, any of that uh, outside sound getting in. Okay, let's see. Archives, kitchen, secret archives, editors. Hey, did you get the fax? I have it. Yes, I have. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Come on, man. Build suspense. You, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. <laughs> Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. So he's in office space? Whatever. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? So he's in office space. Maurice, I don't know where Maurice is at. Where's Maurice at? He's already searched the hall rooms. So That's everything, isn't it? Also, where the fuck's Maurice? Maurice, where are you at? Are you in the boardroom? He's in the boardroom because he sent a fax. Okay, he's in he's in the boardroom. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, 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 I got it. So... We really want editor's room, right? So that he could get to the... Get to the stairs and move the uh, the file cabinets. But that might not work. Hmm. Let's do editor's extension. Let's try that. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? So you're going to go to... I mean, you can go to the kitchen. He already he's already searched those. Or the archives. But you guys will cross each other's paths. I guess we'll find out how this works, right? You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad. Not bad. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way Listen to, to some tunes. Barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Let's do it. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've Start a kitchen fire. Perfect. That, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. Otter, how you doing? So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly. 
Walk quietly. Can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. wait the secret wait. archives. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Yeah, he can what jump out the window, there? Otter. Juicy secrets about outer space? Ah, I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? Oh, I'm sorry. All figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait, use your radio. Is there a TV in there? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Think of something else. You got a remote control, don't you? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? The Dallas Scream. Dukes best and only late night call-in show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Hey, I'm trying to lighten the mood. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with the search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. All right. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plant it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Ash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is yeah. everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Yeah, you big dummy dumb. The radio works. If I Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, just tune it to our station and we'll be quiet and we'll wait. But wait, we're the radio... Yeah, dumb dumbs. We can just be quiet. Yeah, dumb dumbs. Uh, if you can do that, then yeah, sure. One eighty nine point sixteen. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self advertisement, Nash, I don't think that. Yeah, it. see, I saved your life. I got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Uh, probably the boardroom. 
Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Make the call. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any Probably idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Um... I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Marie. Hey, forget about it. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. That's pretty good. Radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal. Makes me think it's the it same voice up. actor, which is amazing. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Hmm. Your judgment has kept you alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Hide under the desk, but he can see through it. Hide in the cabinets, but it'll take him a second to get there. Secret archive or the cubicles? Hmm. Hide it in your cabinet. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. I think if it was a closet, that'd be better, but this is his cabinet. <laughs> I don't want the cubicles. He can do it. I believe him. On, I believe in him. I don't know. He just needs a minute. That's true, but he's pretty close. The boardroom is pretty close. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. If he dies, your the blood is on your hands, Mew. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to <laughs> If he dies, bend me. Blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. Got it. We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! Come on, man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! They're trying to trick me with that. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! Got it! locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! Woo! I can't believe that actually worked! Come on, Maurice, was there ever any doubt? Thank God it's over! I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Light up your nose. Yeehaw, baby. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the gallows reporter. I'll think about it. We'll see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Damn right, let's go. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions for the time. You're gonna interview me. 
sure about that. KFAM 189.16 The Scream. too general okay did anyone move with you to gallows creek nope no that's too specific too specific i do you have any siblings i don't i'm an only child and my folks are dead oh i'm sorry forrest did you do it i'm sorry why did you do it? Of course not. I only... I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Wait, what do you mean the same way as mine? Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13 been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into it. That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. You're the witchling man! Wanna go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. <sighs> Understood. I'm on it now. What do you think, Peg? The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. What do you mean they're still late? There's still more to do? Or is it, did I just not wait long enough? Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. I'm gonna die! Second floor stairway key. It's not opening. Mouse trap. Let's get that where it belongs. There you go. Mouses are saved. Mouses. Mice are saved. No problem. Ah, it's pretty big. It's up here. Yellow! Is it advertisement? Hey, tape. Plain. Hang on, what is, what's all this? Axe me again! Axe 3, final decapitation! Axe the original! Scare the creepy hour! Oh, ghost face! Put that on the floor where it belongs. Genie... Uh, Jeannie and Carrie's friendship quiz. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Hot David, Kyle, Heather. Most likely to win the award for the worst poker face. Most likely out of a prison. Don't care. Put it there. Ruler. Uh. Good job on the new job. Good luck. I'm so proud of you. Aw. Put that right there. That's important. Gallows for life. Genie. Alone. Okay. I don't know what that... 
I, f I feel like the the tape I was stacking up is what fell and made that big noise, but I don't know. What else we got in here? Ooh, what's this? This is probably going to be important later. Hmm. Wow! Exclusive! Let's see. It's a shame I can't pick up two things at the same time. Damn. Alright, well, we'll put that right there. We'll come back down for it later. I need a key to get in there. There's no run button. The doors swing wildly. Yeah, <laughs> you're fine. No! You can't say that! I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I... Oh, Forrest! We're let's, still on air. Let's put that right there. Folks, the... Oh! <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but... Be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. The Scream. Hey, we had a call come in. All right, don't worry about it. I'll be right back. Why is it so red outside? I want to get that map. Why? It's fine. I'm multitasking here, okay? You'll be you'll be like, oh, Apple is so smart. He picked up the the corn maze maze map already, and he's already saving people. The lines lit up. I need to take the call. Caller, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with F Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The Whistling Man is gone! He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies, and we came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops... The freak. Died. I don't blame you. I would have been tempted to do the same. Have you both got a screw loose? You know what the whistling man's done tonight. This was not my idea. Yeah, so we beat him up. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... and then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? It's a ghost! You, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Um, the 911 is um, forwarded to me because there's a ghost killer on the loose. Um, do you think he's some kind of ghost? Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean... How you doing, how do you Dan? No, he's not. There's no way. Oh, 
Did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got a sketch? By a Hell yeah, buddy. Who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? We play Killer Shot. Yeah, so far we've had... We saved two people so far. This is Mackenzie for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. Had to help a lady uh, hotwire a car, then I had to help a guy traverse through an office building. The hatch is battened. Right, what's this first? All right. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. All right. There's still more to do here before I can leave. What are you talking about? No, there's not. Peggy, are you lo Are you real? Are you a ghost? Peggy, how do I play this off air? I'm off air, okay. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. Hmm. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? No, I don't know. Uh, we are old friends. Okay. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single! have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. With 80s killer, killer names? Because it's the 80s. <laughs> then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. All right, all right. Hmm. So there's hidden music, you say. In the bathroom? Bim bam! Zap the derp away! Hmm. When's the big game? 28 to 20. Hmm. Nothing but piss on the floor. New signal. Piss on the floor. Is there anything underneath? I know they told me to go downstairs, but I don't want to go downstairs yet. 28 to 20. 28 to 20. This seems to be a good number. Probably going to have to know that for later. Uh, preliminary review, review of Chalupa Chalupa 
Chalupa Cabra. Chalupa Cabra. Uh, we can agree that the flavor profiles of Chalupa Cabra are the best in town, despite being pricey option and offering no deals. The El Diablo Burrito has the best mouthfeel, and those huevos rancheros are just excellent. For the hundredth time, it's an audio medium. People won't get its egg and excellent, idiot. Ah. I'm world building right now, Mew. Hey, I ate the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. Hmm. Craft and work. The art of decorating with bones. Skewer that barbecue bacon. 666 new products that will make your nightmares, home improvements, a dream. Building houses with Jack. It's all in the material. Renovating your rundown cabin in the woods with Ash Wallace. And we have so much more to show you, as seen on TV. Wow. It's got no back. <laughs> Speaking of the Chupacabra, did you hear about what they did with the new movie? There's a Chupacabra movie? <laughs> Shut up, no there's not. Is there? <coughs> Excuse me. The Goat Sucker. He's got his own movie. Good for him. He did it. I'm so proud of him. There's going to be a baby one called Chupa, and it just means suck. <laughs> oh, yeah, the little baby suck. <laughs> Hello out there. Mouse trap. That will go right here. Let's see. Needs a key. Ah. Uh -huh. This must be it. Final breath. Fine. My tiny selection grows. Vertigo Weekly. Died alone. Exclusive first look. From below, it's game. From below, it game. From below. It game. It came. Oh my god. Hey, look at these cats. Yep, those are cats. Chupacabra is how the hillbilly who first tasted milk was called. <laughs> well, you don't like that little gremlin that sucks on goats? I think he's adorable. Hello, Peggy. Final breath. Wait, hang on. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Wow. I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. No, it's fine. Hang on, I gotta make a shot first. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Waiting for us. Wait! I, wait, it's it's important. I got to get this. It's good luck. Yeah, okay. 
Evening caller. Hello. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 standing. This is Murphy. <laughs> Murphy. Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to live, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, don't face me. A true warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. Guess what? This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. You ready, whistling man? You just let loose the junkyard dog. <laughs> Oh, no. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Do you think it's tasteless to have the Master Robbie play when he was just talking about that? I mean, I mean, if he beats the killer, that's great advertisement, right? Yep, I got my own little soundboard. <laughs> Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Yeah! Ready to unlock your inner yeah, world? brother! Then step into Master Robbie's deadly Bad your sensei. That's five things. Classified techniques. I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30 minute video sessions. That's a pretty good, good deal. Power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. I want to be a champion. I'm going to be a champion if I make this shot. If I make... Never forget the element of surprise. Yes. <gasps> Two more VHS tapes, the tornado tech oh! and karate love me. Ooh. Call today. Ooh. Oh, oh a little people really little spicy at the end there. Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just... Yeah, late, late night radio does get kind of weird. Wow. Like, public radio. Only like, uh, AM radio stations. They do I actually have some weird stuff like that. Because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along. But generally nowadays, caller. there's really not caller. weird he stuff. Unless it's like some like uh, like someone's doing like a pirate broadcast or something like that. You really don't get strange, weird things like that anymore. Hit the button. We have a caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hello. Hello? Who is this? Hello. Are, are you still with us? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Okay, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or? I saved them all. Sure. 
Only on 189.16. Tell me your name, caller. I'm Dr. Sullivan. Virginia, sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're going to be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... I do, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you hide? Can you run away? Can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house? Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Pawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. Virginia, what's Where the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea Auntie where Pizza. the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Hmm. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Is there us? Ooh, there's an arcade. Little Shop of Flowers. That's a good one. The Ambrosia Hotel. All of these have these like these little itty bitty tiny uh, little little tiny little tiny Easter eggs, huh? Christine's Gas and Repair. <laughs> all these little all these little Easter eggs for horror movies. Modem operant uh, operantus. It's like what 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 are they doing? What the what the what the mo uh, dude. Sorry. Come on, Virginia. Try My boy. I can't do this. Okay. Bye, Virginia. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. Ripley Records. While we try to figure out what takeout to order. Jason. Here's some music for your own midnight snacks. I know it. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. Me, 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 me. do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and then of course we have Auntie's Pizza. That's it, I think. In the grilling place, she said. Ponte's Pizza, Chalupa Cabra, and the Grilling Place. Max, is it Max Diner? No, not no. Supermarket, Grilling Spree, there it is. So, I'm assuming she's somewhere in this area. Alright, we'll call each place and ask who they deliver to them. It's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, hey. place an order, and include a note asking him to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. An in-game? Nah, it's just for your viewing pleasure. I hate this town. No, better get to it. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Frequency fest. Offices for anything food related, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Does Peggy even exist? God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh, we do. I just have to look around. Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Chalupa Cabra. A promotion, huh? Pondy's Pizza. I'll find the pizza box. Pizza box, pizza box. Why is the music getting all spooky? Lock. 
for now. That's not a good thing to say. Locked tight. Save the mouse. There you go. Save the mouse. Why is there so much disgusting trash back here? What's wrong with you people? Spoiled milk. Ugh. Yeah, throw it in there, crazy. Let's let's see. Let's see the suck. Truck! Full color nuts and bolt action. From below it came. Ooh. Oh, there's another one. There you go. Oh. Another mouse saved. Ooh. Had to order. Come on. Fix it. I want to play Midnight Axe. Yo, dude. Oh, it's broken. High grade video cassette. Top hits. Seven days. Uh oh. It's too late for me. Megabyte. The future is now. Our special report features the first hands on reviews, the stories behind the machine, and what the new technology means to you. Tom Crosshell and the fate. Of last year models, advanced technology, computer generated Im imagery, replacing animation, new software, make the most of your spreadsheets. The future is floppy. Got a tissue for your issue? Like I was looking for uh, like a pizza box, but I got completely distracted, huh? Ah, rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh, interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Um, they got what was it, twenty-eight to twenty? Go Gallows High, I guess. Best in town. I'll take this pizza box with me to my studio. Hey, Peg, you don't mind if I bring trash in here, right? Place that right there. Remind me what I'm looking for again. The frat house by Virginia has been ordering takeout all night. We've got to figure out who they've been ordering from, then place an order for the frat house with a note to call the station. Okay, but how do I figure out who they call? We need to think like frat boys, Forrest. What would you order if you were a frat boy? Pizza, baby! Mm, cheap food and cheap beer. Exactly. Use your frat boy instincts to guide you. Oh, one free beer, huh? Desk in the office. He's our food critic, so his desk is frat is fraternity. It's a college thing downstairs. where a bunch of people get together. There's frat fraternities and sororities in college. It's either all a group of boys or an all group of girls, and they do college stuff on the campus. Hey, find anything useful? 
Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Yes, all grows is sorority. Let's make the call. When you're ready, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? We're calling pizza. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza, may I take your order? Frat man calling. Hey, dude, what's going on? Uh, may I take your order? I need some garlic bread. Oh, I need the bread. Oh, I need the bread. <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. Better be apple bread. Put a song on. Agreed. No! Give me that garlic bread. I need some garlic knots, baby. Yeah, sororities and fraternities are really for... Well, I mean, I guess it depends on which one which one you would join. Because some of them are definitely more on the academic side. Some of them are more on the social side. It all depends. Now it's time to go with The Flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. So what you do is you get a friend who joins a frat or a sorority and then you can get all the benefits because your friends in the frat or the sorority and then you don't have to do anything to stay in it to save virginia no where would you actually eat oh i mean they're all pretty i didn't join any frats or sorority or frats or sororities i didn't join any frats i too was also a uh ooh, no people gross Oh, don't so, worry. I'm. A, I'm. A, I bet you I'm a bigger hermit. I'm, I'm the biggest hermit of them all. Do I want a plate full? I live in the middle of the fucking desert. <laughs> I want really, really good nachos. It can change depending on the day, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I. Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Hey, what's up? Give me some of that garlic bread. So yeah, there's some there's some fraternities where there's a there's a big common building and they would actually live in in that big giant common house. A lot of people do it to um, not have to rent a place because then they can just stay in that place. It's kind of like a I don't want to say free apartments because you, but yeah. Hello, caller. Yellow. Live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Yo, the plunker, yeah. This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. No, this is Forrest Nash, host of... Uh, uh, sure thing, Goose. Uh, listen, I need you to... Goose! Come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? <laughs> oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Hey, Goose, get over here. Norman the Barbarian. What do you think? <laughs> What is it? 
Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just say no more. <laughs> Walker's moving the house. <laughs> Forest, line two. Plunker, plunker. Hello, you're live on 189.16. The stream. Forest, it's the killer. The screen at the door. Grace. Oh my God. It's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. The party! What's up, Dad? Look, it's dead. You're welcome, Virginia. Um, Thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. Oh, gee, I wonder. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. It's dead on 189.16 The Scream. All right, all right. Excellent. Hello, caller. You're live on The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. The killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Terrible. I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Hmm. You sure are up late. You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're Wait, this is Ponty. Day every day, and that includes major holidays we've got coming up. It's fucking Ponty. Get him out of here. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world. What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two-for-one Ponty, no! No free ads! Damn it, Ponty! Uh, I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Colin Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. <laughs> it's John Cena! Let's keep going. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello. Am I on air? Sure, our caller. What's your name, and what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Aww. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Uh huh. Uh, I see. Look at that. Yeah. For her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. Oh. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That sounds lovely. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? 
For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to Hey, who bonked the kid? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Bingo, here's what I was looking for. Do you really need to ask? Go home to your parents. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. Oh, what the fuck? Everyone's uh, dying. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Well, oh, Molly. I'm in the middle. It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. This is horrible! Just run through the walls! Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. She's right! I- Listen, Eugene, breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I- I like the little, little man I'll right here. But please, hurry! Well, listeners. While Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. For all you lovers out there. What the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. She changed the year. I was supposed to go with her last week, and she changed her mind. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad Ugh, instead. Brad, I hate that guy. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. I remember. That'll hopefully be I've been in a few corn mazes. Uh, They're okay. Which one is Barbara again? Barbara. I remember Barbara. when I was little, I uh, went to Canada, Forrest, and you speak to her. I don't remember which city it was in, but they had this giant warehouse of a maze, and it was so cool. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress. I'm pretty sure it was in Canada. Just go and find something to help us. But it was like a big uh, a warehouse, and it was like it, it was it was like an actual maze of like really cool. It was like it, it kind of reminded me of like a Nickelodeon Studios sort of thing, and I was like, this is the best ever. Oop. Sorry. <laughs> And I remember they gave you like little like little tickets and you filled out the tickets and you get points and then like if you came back another time you could do like more point stuff and I was like, oh, this is great. But like this was like when I was like eight or nine or something like that. So I definitely don't remember what city it was in or anything like that. I just remember it was on a port. Is it a port? So it's definitely Either West Canada or Eastern Canada um, along the coastline. Hmm. I mean, it could have been it could have been Vic Victoria, Vancouver. You know what? It's probably Vancouver. No, nah, it was definitely a trip. Like. Um, my dad, my dad did a lot of business stuff, and he got business trips to go to, do other business stuffs, and I'm pretty sure it was a Vancouver trip. Oh yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about him. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? But never mind. It doesn't matter. Because she right dumped now. Brad. His dumbass. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Hang on, I gotta get this shot. Oh shit, it's bouncing off. Come on, we need it. We, come on, we need it. We gotta keep Eugene alive. We gotta make the shot.
Come on, this is for Eugene in his first base. With Molly. Hey, yeah, let's go! Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. Why is it so loud? Facing a tractor statue. Tractor statue. There Number one. Bales painted gold on my right. Golden hay bales to his right. Yeah, I see exactly where he is. But where's the killer? Oh, um, shit. Um, he's gonna want to... Oh, shit. Where does he gotta go? I'm following... I'm following it. Um, I gotta follow it with my finger. It's alright. It's fine. Where's my nephew to draw the lines? All right, I see it. I got it. I see it. He wants to go left. Go left. Okay. Okay. You went left. And then you try to right. I went left. So he should be below four. Right. I have a pig statue in front of me. And yep. A creepy rocking horse on my left. Yep. So he wants to go. He wants to go back, so he wants to take... So he's facing... Wait, what's he facing? Alright, he's facing the pig statue, so he wants to go... Backwards. Yes. No, he wants to go back. He wants to go... From our view, it's to the left. And if you follow uh, to the left, it loops around towards the tree, towards 6 and 7, and then you go all the way up, follow 9, and then you can get out. So he wants to go back. Go backwards. Go backwards. Oh, Why didn't I just fight her over? Oh. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Left. Go left. Oh, this wasn't how to go. Yeah, I'm actually just camping at the entrance. What's up, baby? We all want love, Eugene. I think there's a tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Tiny now barn? Mini size. barn. Tiny barn ahead of him. Scarecrow behind him. So... Alright, so he needs to go to the right. He needs to go right. Go right. He's gonna come up to the beehives or the corn silo. I can't run much more. I just passed a corn silo. Yes. Didn't see anything else. Please. Where He's almost out. He just passed the corn silo and didn't see anything else on the way. So he. So he needs to go to the right. Yeah, he goes to the right, he's done. Yeah. Go right. So he should be looping around to the top left corner and he's out. They can definitely I die. Think it went pretty well, I was told. The very first person died. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. I think this game has multiple endings as well.
Everyone dies. Some people die. No one dies. In, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. Woo! All right. Hey. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16. The screen. 16. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That's really wonderful. Possibly, Dan. Saying. Possibly. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. I'm not too sure because the first person was tutorial. You tune, Forrest. Your turn. Sure. Long ride home. That old song. Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What? What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier Damn today. it, Peggy. <laughs> Peggy, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. For shame, Peggy. For shame. I know. Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. All right. How about this one? The hangups. You're gonna love this next track. to request. Why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Hang on, this is the best part. These are my memories of all the people I saved. Oh, Take it. They might need our help. And, uh, I guess didn't save. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest! Oh, thank God! It's me again! Murphy! Hey, how'd it go, Mr. Dojo? Oh, the killer got me, man. I, uh, why did I ever trust the goddamn Master Robin? I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn piece of it. It came from the gallows waste disposal plant. There he is. Oh, God damn. I smell smoke. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now or I'm gonna die. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. Fire department, fire department. All right. Now just come on, pick up. There's the fire station. Dallas Creek Road closures, McCready Street. It's not operational. Why is there no backup vehicle? He, oh, Residents will only have access the connection road between so Rogers Ave and Haydenfield. Rogers Ave and Haydenfield. 
Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And there's Cameron Rogers Ave. The west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. And Hayden Field okay, Road. See who would be best. There it is. This. So here's Hayden Field Road. So residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Hayden Field Road. East side McCready Street will be closed. Okay. Alex lives on the corner of Hayden Field Road, next to Romero. Catherine lives on the west. Wait, old man Jericho lives at the east lane. Fire department. Okay. Good, they, they, they left me there. Alex lives on the corner of Hayden Field Road, right next to Romero Street. Hayden Field Road, next to Romero Street. All right. So, Hayden Field Road here is closed. Um, Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lake. West end of Myers Lake. Myers Lake. Is this Myers Lake right here? Where's Myers Lake at? Jazz Studio. Old Man Jericho lives on the east end of Myers Lane. Oh, Myers Lane. Oh, silly me. Uh, Myers Lane. Myers Lane. Okay, here it is. So, Rogers Avenue is probably closed. But she should be fine. Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And then Old Man Jericho lives on the east end of Myers Lane. So either Catherine or Jericho. I can say Catherine. So if she lives like right here in this area, she's going to have to go east. And that'll be fine. All right, let's do Catherine. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. See you later, Dan. And don't forget, 189.16 to scream. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. You can call like all three of them. Seems important, right? Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I You go, girl. Oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Um, Murphy. Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah, I got a little flashlight. Looks like okay. Recycling. Bottles. Yeah, newspaper. What does it say on the newspaper? Waste disposal, personal storage. Hmm. Personal store? No, it's not per personal. Uh, let's go to recycling. Go to recycling. Recycling. Got it. Come on, Catherine. I got your little flashlight. of the plant you're in. I'm in a dumpster, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> um, you'd think shredding. Yeah. Catherine, go to the shredder. Well, oh God, Murphy. That's a ban on Mew. Poor Fernando is going to be crushed.
His father died a hero. He was just trying to protect the town. That's actually pretty nice, Forrest. Murphy, I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy, it's going to be our... Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Scorch Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors. During this <laughs> I know what I've done. Time. Just do it. Make it quick. ...candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows, are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up to bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife! This is not the time to promote your damn campaign! I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? I don't know why the, 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 the thing is like, so just like, ooh. So finicky. All right, what's the problem? Uh, Your family waste plant just burned down, so now we have nowhere to dump our garbage? The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a fan of <laughs> and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father. <laughs> the his one father, tape I could have picked. Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Linda Cartwright, oh, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. Stinks. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Ooh. Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve... We're going to put this over here. Right here. There we go. Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got Woo! a on Ghibli 
public field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokin' Old, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss. Hey, you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearms. What do you mean, firearms, safe donkeys? Fried dough, seeds, bitten, sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. It's a cat shop. And fake tattoo, face paint, and puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance, and story. Yo, this place sounds awesome. And, be and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest. Flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Yo, that sounds I great. Can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. Time to turn the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Scream. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <laughs> I am the police. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Oh, murder house? What the fuck? I'm at the end of a hall. Um, there's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Uh, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Uh, get to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Wait, he's not whistling. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can... Don't move! Yeah. What? 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 Are you? Are you kidding me? Okay. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke. Jeez. Oh, Carrie, huh? Isn't that? Jimmy, that wasn't funny. You sicko. Just a prank, bro. Nash, what the hell are you all doing? Scream! It's prank night, old man. Sixteen. Just having fun. It's the kid, the kid who called in earlier, pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. Jimmy, 
everyone, it's really not safe to be out. Please, go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is Dummy. Right next to you. That's, uh... Wait a second. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh, no. Who, uh, who are you? Oh, no, man! <laughs> Everyone, get inside! Is this a prank? Everyone, run! Scott Heather, you barricade the back! As long as he's out there and we're in here, we're safe, right? You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to... Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and... Uh, oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy the mystery has... machine, let's go! Stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. This game's wild. That's pretty good. Okay. Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. If only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and, no, no, chat. Out of chat, all of us, no. You're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We, uh, uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at figure out what to do but i don't think we can agree on who should do what uh-huh i think you'll have to be the tiebreaker okay or else these idiots are gonna get us killed but i shut up you Ugh. forrest i'll call you back and i don't know anything about your friends Ugh. these damn kids never learn breathe peggy it's okay Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, mm -hmm. let's see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Okay. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Downstairs in the hallway, I bet. Gotta take this rat trap with me. And put it where it belongs, right in the trash can. Why is it so spooky in here? So many locked doors, so few keys. Oh wait, she's in uh, this little corner. Okay, let's see here. Rock and roll gallows for life! Yow! Alright, what do these people do? Let's see here. Ah. Friendship quiz. 
this might work. Okay. Most likely to peak Mount Everest, uh, Heather. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face, Cynthia. End up in prison, Seth. Most likely to escape from prison, Jennifer. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete, Hot David or Heather. Ah, here we go. Most likely to pass their driving test without any errors, Jimmy. Most likely to win an Oscar. Most likely to beat everyone at go-karting. Most likely to trip while running in a horror movie. Most likely to end up in a car crash. Okay. Jeannie and Carrie's friendship quiz. <laughs> Why is his name Hot David? All right. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Whenever you're ready. True, true. He's hot. He's hot. How do you think Kyle feels, though? Or Ch Scott and Chad? Hmm. Or Jimmy? I mean, I guess Jimmy's really good at driving. Actually, I don't think David's really good at anything. He's just hot. He's okay. He's an athlete, but... Yeah, no, he's just... I mean, him and, him and Heather are on the same scale. So he's just good looking. Let's go. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I like the music. Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. 60. Gary, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. Well... We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Obviously Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Someone to escape prison? Seth, Jennifer and Scott. Jennifer? Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, <laughs> she carries a bump key. Three, getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that Oh, way. Jimmy's dead. Then is part four. <laughs> so Jimmy is not driving anymore. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between who was it again? Hot David. Cynthia and Scott. Definitely not Scott. Probably Hot David. Because Hot David's also an Olympic athlete. So, Hot David. Hot David. Hot David! <laughs> yeah, you uh, do spend a lot of time running shirtless. Ah, that's why he's hot. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that's right cool. on. Distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy... And Cynthia. Hmm. Wasn't there an Oscar winner? Win an Oscar. Lisa and Tammy. And then worst poker face is Tammy. So it looks like Lisa. Lisa's up. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Scott. 
Who's luck at it with Trevor? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Squat. Scott. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I... Yeah, Scott, he's gonna beat everyone at go-karting. Uh... Thanks, Forrest. Nah, they'll be fine. Oh, wait, Scott's gonna... Oh, no! You're right! Sounds good. To I was distracted. I was too. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Sounded like a pretty good plan. No, it's fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. No, it's fine. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. The kids are back already. Line one again. I mean, if they do get in a car wreck, we got everything else perfect. So maybe they'll give us some leeway, right? It's all, it's a, it's a tally system. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Hit it. All righty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Let's play some tracks for you. To the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter signal. Spotter says go. Lockpicker, go. Keys, Carrie, you need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. Oh it was God. like a face off. Oh God. Focus, breathe. 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 The van keys. Got him. It's up. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. And Hot David should be back any second. <laughs> I can't believe it's actually working. You're doing great. Focus, you got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. I like that noise. Hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Wow, these kids are doing great. Yes. Heather. Quick, everyone to the van. Driver, take the keys. The damn gate swung shut. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's okay. No, it's fine. Harry? He just, he just stared at me. Carrie! Carrie? Just stared at me and walked into 
so she's okay. I don't understand. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? I can make it home. Oh, now I can do this completely. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Yeah! Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. Wait, what? For any kids listening in, please stay inside. Uh, oh shit. Stay safe. <laughs> Carrie lived, everyone else. <laughs> Hug your kids extra tight. Oh, damn it! Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Oh, shit. Late night lurkers, great for her. Well, hey, at least one made it out, right? Instead of none of them? Hey, we had a call come in. Ready? Shut the music off. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallows Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man. Good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and I now consider you a friend, my man. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by Just Ricky. Yeah, back then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. They were inline skaters. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Aw, oh, oh. oh, hello, Max. Oh. Max! Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Yes. Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Save the dog. Save the man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. <laughs> It sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a little. 
I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. A stab in twilight. Seems appropriate. Here comes one of my favorites. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, th that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. I'm thinking about Max on skates, too. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Gary! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though not everybody made it, and uh, I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't- So yeah, everyone else is dead except for her. Why am I- Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did, why let me go? Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to- These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, uh, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Stretch those legs! Yeah! What can I explore? What can I do? Peggy, let me in! I'm not getting in there tonight. Peggy, I'm scared! Check and see if anything, uh, you know, anything spawned. You never know, right? Killer out there. Okay, fam, one eight nine sixteen. The maze, maze. Oh, there is some noise going. There is noise. Hey. What are you doing? I need a key to get in there. Stop trying to get in! Yeah, no, don't tell me. Don't, 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 no, 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 don't tell me any answers. No spoilers. Hey. New music to play. I'm coming to get you. So there is hidden albums to find around the uh, around the house, around the place. Sponge. Sponge. 
back there. Need the key. That's not opening. That's trapping the trash can. Locked tight. Everything's locked up. There. The albums around here. In these corners, mayhaps. Datables. Barbara. Barbara. Oh, it's Datables for Barbara. Ah. Got rid of Brad. Ugh, I hate Brad. Grody to the max. All he reads is truck. Uh, let's see, what does that say? Nothing. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. Brad, P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival ticket. Mm-hmm. Oh, 828, 1987. Just a couple weeks after my birthday. Wow! Mm-hmm. You owe me money! Introducing Woodside Apartments. New state-of-the-art luxury apartments coming soon to Gallows Creek. Uh-huh. Low, low price of $300. Seems great. <laughs> you break up with, uh, with a post-it note. I guess it's like the breakup via text, huh? Let's see if there's any, uh, any albums around here. Mm hmm, mm hmm. like it. Mm hmm Let's see, let's see, anything? Nope, nothing. Wrench. Swing set. I got a seesaw. Laser racer. Alright, I guess let's see what the, uh... What's our new, what's our new song? I'm gonna get ya. Collected, keys collected, paper ball baskets made from desk. 93. Yeah, baby. All right. I think before we start the next one, we should end it here, my friends. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I'll hope to see you again another time. So please have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.